What's up folks? It's Friday. I'm here in the orbiting headquarters and I want to show you something neat. I use uh, open map tiles which are open street map based vector tiles that you can download and use. It's the successor of the OSM to vector tiles project. Very cool. These are awesome brilliant folks. So I've been using that and I been downloading it and I've noticed that the download size really hasn't changed and then I looked at the downloads page and looks like it was last updated in November of 2016 so it's not exactly minty fresh so that was a bit of a drag but I noticed in their documentation which is also excellent you can generate your own open map tiles by open map tiles, it just means tiles made with a conversion specification from this project. So it's taking OpenStreetMap along with Natural Earth and some other stuff and playing with it in a certain way and then producing vector tiles from that. So this looked pretty interesting. And I wondered if I could build my own open map tiles uh, on my own machine from OpenStreetMap. So I looked at the requirements and basically you need Docker and Docker Compose and those are will run on any platform you got going. Uh, unless it's a Raspberry Pi, turns out you need a x86-64 CPU. So uh, doing this on a Raspberry Pi is probably a bad idea anyway. So down, I had Docker, I installed Docker Compose and Docker Compose is just like a uh, it's it's like a component. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It, I think it takes you can specify a bunch of different Docker images that it needs and to work in a certain way. It'll go do all that stuff for you. I don't know. I don't care. So get Docker and Docker Compose, and you can, can clone the OpenMap Tiles project. Docker Compose pull grabs all the different Docker images, and it's going to grab a fair bit. Let me. Make this bigger for you. Let's see, Docker images, but grip, open map. Yeah, it puts all this, all these things in there, and they're fairly large. You know, some of these are, are there's a three gigabyte person and a one gigabyte person, and it also makes, uh, uh, storage volume for Postgres, which can get quite large. So you're going to need some, some storage space for this. But it'll put all this stuff on there. You need to make these tiles. And then you can just run this quick start, which I'm not going to run right now because it runs for a long time. And quick start is set to get Albania. And it will produce uh, vector tiles from zoom level 0 to 7. And then you can... I mean, that's just to make sure it works. You should go ahead and run that. And that will make a data folder. I just copied over to data2 here for time being. And you'll see it download your stuff. It'll make this tiles.me tiles. And that's your vector tiles. And you're all good to go. I thought I would do that for my area. And I thought I'd just show you how I did that. So my area is kind of tricky. Mecklenburg County, and this is using uh, Geofabric downloads. Thank you very much for those to those folks. I Mecklenburg County is right on the border of North and South Carolina, so, and I, I'm not a big fan of those GIS sites where you see like a city or a county floating in the ether, because I think surrounding uh, area is informative as to where you are. So I can't get North Carolina or South Carolina to get this area around that border. I need the smallest unit I can get from Geofabric is US South. That's about 1.8 gigabytes. And I can get that. Basically what you would do is you'd put in a quick, quick start and then US South and it would run through and do that for US South. Now, that's a lot more area than I need. Doing that on my machine, which has a lot of RAM, 32 gigabytes, but the CPU is an 
It's a Skylake i3 because I don't like noise. Uh, and I, I notice it, it will peg all the CPUs uh, while it's running. So it might be a little bit CPU bound on my machine. But to do that for US South takes like six, seven hours. That's a long time. But what you can do is we'll look at these files. There's a couple files you need to tweak. And I say six hours, that's like building it down to zoom level 14. So like for production. There are th three places you need to edit stuff. And one of them is a hidden file. Uh, let's see. Which wouldn't have been my choice, but uh, it's a hidden file. And it's got some Postgres stuff for the, the Docker Postgres. But here you can change the min zoom and max zoom the quick start's going to use. And by default it hits it at seven. For production you want to build it to 14. Sounds good. So you want to change that .env file. And in your data folder, you'll see there's this docker compose config yml, yaml. Uh, you set the min zoom and max zoom there as well. So if you set the min zoom and max zoom, and the other thing to set here in this uh, YAML file is the bounding box. If you just get US South, it's gonna create that file the first time you run it, and it's going to be the bounding box for US South. And for me, that's way more space than I need. What I need is this is about as far as I go. And here's my subject area right here. This is even probably too far because I'm catching Raleigh and all its stuff and I'm tiling Roanoke and I'm tiling Columbia and Myrtle Beach. I probably need to chop it off like right there and right there and I could have like half the half the size and, and much quicker thing. I'm gonna do that eventually. But I'm lazy, I'll get to it. So that is my bounding box. So you put the bounding box in your data docker compose config YAML. And that takes us from a six to seven hour tiling process. I never let it finish. It just said that was gonna be about how long it's gonna take to 50 minutes because it's doing a much smaller area of vector tiles. And that works really well. 50 minutes to get OpenStreetMap data and produce vector tiles brand new fresh. These GeoFabric uh, stuff is written out, uh, I think, every single day. Yep, this is the 20th. So this came out, well, it came out yesterday. It I'd, might be depend on the timing, but it's very, very fresh. So, that works good, 50 minutes, but there's another thing you can do too. You can do it with your own custom PBF file. And there is a tool called OSM Convert. And OSM Convert will let you apply a latitude longitude box to chop down a PBF file with. So I can go into that data directory or actually I can just w get that uh, the extract from geofabric and then I can osm convert uh, that file give it a bounding box give it an output of a pbf file and you need to name it some name dot osm dot pbf is the output and that lets me go from a 1.8 gigabyte PBF file to a 295 megabyte PBF file. And that's even with this really large image that I'm getting. So then you can run it on that. And what I did is I put this file by itself in a data folder and I copied in a Docker Compose Config and I put the OSM area name mech with the boundary I want. 
And this is just file is just copied from the when I did US South along with the GeoFabric and last state OSM text. I don't know if those really do anything. I just copied those in there too. And then that's in my data file, uh, data folder. You can put in your quick start and then put in mech. And mech is what I named that PBF file. So it's going to use, see that's there, use that, and not try to download anything from GeoFabric. And that, with that reduced area, because it has to do a lot less processing on Postgres, it's about 20 minutes. That doesn't include downloading US South. Uh, that'll depend on your network speed and, and, and what have you. But that's not too bad. It does include downloading it and then doing the OSM convert, which takes like a minute or so. So using the OSM map tiles project with Docker, I can take my subject area and just with and script it out and have it make fresh to the day OpenStreetMap vector tiles for my subject area in 20 minutes. That's really, really good. And when it starts running, you'll see uh, it'll write all kinds of stuff. Uh, like it will just, it, it is not going to hide it. And you're like, I wonder if it's doing anything or if it died. It will give you lots and lots of feedback. And it'll go just, you know, on and on and on. But so you can take with using Docker, uh, you can take the open map tiles project and put it on your machine. And depending on this, it's all dependent on how big an area you want to tile for like a county or even a state. You're looking at maybe 20 minutes and you'll have fresh brand spanking new tiles. And it'll be written to in your data folder to tiles.mb tiles. And that's what this is drawing. Now, I thought that was really, really cool. The other really cool thing about it is you've now got all of the scripts it uses to convert the data right here. You're looking at all the SQL, and there's a lot of it, used to make the data or process the OpenStreetMap data and the, the other related data that's going to make those tiles. So you can go in here and say if you want to, of course, respecting the ODBL and, and make sure you're compliant with the licenses for the data, you can play with the data here. If uh, you like OpenStreetMap everything except for you want to add in your buildings or maybe your park polygons for a certain area. You can go into the SQL where it's running that and monkey around with the data before it makes the tiles. So you can customize the output of it as well. So I thought this was really cool. And I've just gotten into Docker lately. So I know this has been possible for a while. But when I looked at the date of the last update of the open map tiles, and that's for the free stuff. If you use their paid service, it's, it's more up to date. Uh, I looked into it and it just was a couple commands and it ran and there were no problems whatsoever. And this is on a Linux machine. Uh, on Windows, since it's Docker, it should work just fine. Uh, OSM convert. Uh, the, there'll be instructions on where and how to get that. I'm using Manjaro, which uses Arch and the Arch user repositories, and OSM converts just sitting there, like everything's sitting there, because the Arch user repositories are awesome. But get it however you can, and that was the easiest way I found to uh, take the US South and bump it down to just the extent I needed. And that uh, went from 50 minutes of processing time to 20 minutes. Might bump that area I need down a little bit more, and that should make it even faster. 
Anyway, this is mostly me talking because each one of these commands, I don't want you to, you know, watch it run for 20 minutes because I only have five minutes worth of jokes and only two minutes of them are good. So that's really cool. So if you're using open map tiles and you want something a little more current or you want to look even just to play around, because this is really cool stuff at how these are made. Uh, check this out. Get Docker and Docker Compose, uh, clone their project, and give it a run. And uh, it should go great. And you'll have minty fresh vector tiles. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, catch you later. Bye-bye.